Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review from the absolutely freezing cold Beer Room, the home of beer reviews. And my favourite place in the world to do a beer review because of the war behind me. Celebrating what's good about British beer and the world and the world around that. So tonight we're going over to a favourite of mine, Golden Glory from Badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only available in the shop and online nowadays, not available in supermarkets. I know I bought this from the supermarket. I used to sell it in the supermarket. Well, on, on, the, on the department, obviously. From the makers of Badger Beers, seven generations of brewing, still proudly independent since 1777. How amazing is that? You know, these big macro, do they call them macro breweries? Horrible. I like family breweries doing family beers. Golden, glorious and true to its name, the fruity, floral and playfully peachy brew packs a refreshing, balanced punch. A crowd-pleasing fan favourite. And, and 4.5%. It has been a fair few years now since I've had this. So I'm looking forward to this. I always, my perception of this was always that it was a bit more for the ladies uh, and people who like sweet tooth. Now, my thing is, I'm sweet tooth. So, um, it is what it is, you know. I always like Malibu and uh, drinks like that. Advocat, Baileys. I was never a big whiskey drinker. Although I can drink whiskey. A bit too much at times. Crystal clear, golden pour, good carbonation, a white, a centimetre of white head. It looks the Bobby Dazzler that does. Doesn't that look amazing, eh? And with Raggy's Bear Reviews behind it as well. Oh, bless you. What a picture. What a picture. <laughs> I bet there's people who watch that that little 30 second bit there and thinking, God, he's vain, isn't he? And I'm not nowhere near vain. I look in the mirror and I'm just as disappointed as everybody else these days. I take the hat off and see grey hair and a receding hairline and, and getting older and it's like, what? Why? How? Anyway. Cheers up. Oh, now when a beer says peach, this delivers it. So many beers promise that, you know, promise uh, a tantalising taste and fail to deliver. I always thought it was peaches and melons, and I'm, I can taste melon, so I'm sure it is peach and melon. <sighs> Takes me back to the to the time before beer reviews, to just an appreciation of great beer. I smell beef on my hands. Where well, that's from. I'm doing my beef tonight. Oh. Yeah. Just text me back, you know. Um, I was gutted when Badger stopped putting it in the shops. I understand. And if anybody from Badger Beers is watching... You will have noticed that either Billy Rag or Raggy's Beer Reviews was commenting, bring back Golden Glory. So to have this beer in front of me, to do a review, not the best time of the year for the beer to do a review, mind you, it's a bit blooming chilly. But it's it's there, it's it's there for summer months. Not that Badger Beer sh um, share beer reviews anyway, so it's not going to happen. Um, maybe, maybe not. But uh, nonetheless, an absolute taste of summer. Now this, in summer, cold, maybe not as cold as in the beer room, but I've took it up the house and it's still really cold. I should have put it in the kitchen eye up. I put it by the back door. The back door is not the warmest place in the house, to be fair. But what I'm saying is, is that this is an absolute stunning beer. It 
was one of my dreams. Um, there's certain breweries in the UK that I want to visit. And I've ticked off the list of some. One I didn't intend to visit. Visited it. Blew my mind. Adnams. Visited St. Peter's. Visited Badger Brewery. Badger Brewery. Wow. You know, the visitor centre. Uh, I didn't go on the brewery tour. We didn't have time. But the visitor centre, the, the the food there, although don't order the sausage roll. It's a bit dinkum. Yeah, you might, you might have to order two. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it is what it is. It's, uh, it's fine dining. So, you know, you get fine dining sizes. Uh, I'm not used to fine dining. I'm not too posh for that. Or I just live, live in a budget. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm honest and truthful. That is much. But uh, a stunning place, you know, Blanford, Blanford Fly. And Blanford is where Badger Bears is. You know, it's uh, it was an amazing day to go down there. Came away with one of each of their bottles, as you would, as any beer reviewer would. And I've still got a fair few to to review. Um, there's a couple that I didn't get because I've drank and reviewed them so many times. But for the majority, everything that was new to me, I got and still got. Some are hiding behind different beers. And as I, as I start making my way through the bottles, I'll know exactly what I've got left because um, it'll be more of a selection rather than a, a massive amount of different beers behind me. Um, it is what it is. I always knew Christmas was going to uh, really push the, the beer boundaries. And next time will be March. March will be my next time and actually buy some beer. Weird, isn't it? A beer reviewer who's going three months without buying a beer in bottle. Uh, literally, anyway. Unless I get some locals, I will not be buying any from anywhere else, I don't think, anyway. You never know. Never say never. At the start of the year, and um, the good fellow Mark, the ex-Mr. Pondry man, pulled me up on this, and he says about beer festivals... And I think after Christmas, you know, I was severely down um, looking at the, the year ahead and contemplating knocking the beer review thing off. And it's something that I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who goes through periods of downtime. And at the moment, uh, I do intend to get more into brewing again. You know, there's no shadow of doubt because it's cheaper. But I will be reviewing beers. Whether I knock it down to one review. There was a time where I'm trying to be the most popular beer reviewer. And it's never really happened. I don't think my style of beer reviews ever will catch on that much. So the best thing to do is be me, be me. And carry on doing what I do. You know, not worry about what anybody else does on YouTube, the beer world, and even at work. Um just be raggy. And, and uh, people have told me that. And uh, obviously I don't listen. And uh, But, uh, you know, I'm rather unique. I'm rather different. And the wife says that all the time. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's getting at. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, for me to give up beer reviews altogether, you know, there's a lot of people who've come to like my beer reviews. There's a lot that have gone very quiet and uh, don't seem to watch them anymore or have moved on. And that I understand, you know. Some move on and then come back a year or two later. And then all of a sudden, some just pop up with a comment. And it's like, I thought you'd stop watching. And uh, <laughs> so you never really know, do you? So back to the beer. A little tangent there. A little bit of explaining. I will, however, not be going. Will not be paying 25 quid to go to a beer festival this year. Robbing a beer festival. There's absolutely no chance on hell. That I'm paying 25 quid for a beer festival. If I can get a trade ticket, go on the Wednesday night. I'll go on the Wednesday night. I'll enjoy a few hours down there. Four or five hours down there. Go and enjoy myself. Do the beer thing that I always do. Do a bit of reviewing maybe. And then come away. Last year, I came away sober. Yeah, that was ridiculous. 
met a lot of friends down there, yakking away. Didn't actually get much drinking done. Uh, if I go this year, if and I get invited to, for, for a trade ticket, um, then I'll go. Only because I'm getting for free. But if I don't, I don't. You know, it is what it is. Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. As much as I hate paying prices, I will not be going for two sessions this year at the Craft Beer Festival. I will only be going on one day with uh, probably the wife, just to keep me in good course. Uh, I, I'm going to walk into that beer festival and I'm going to have some bad memories come back. This still throbs now when I drink beer. And uh, uh, psychologically, it's affected me. It really has. Um, when I go out now, all of a sudden, especially when I'm on my own, I'm really panicky. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, things happen to all of us, don't they? However, though, I am going to Hucknall Bear Festival. Uh, I've been invited down on the Thursday as a bit of a judgy thing. Uh, I think it's just because I'm, I'm good at social media and promoting. And I'll promote for weeks on end. And I'll promote leading up to it. So, in some ways, it's a nice way they utilise me. But I'm good with that because I, I, I love to promote and do good things. Is that not a bad thing? You know, in a lot of ways, I try to be as selfless as I can. You know. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, for anybody who watches this, thank you. You're... You, all pan into place. That's why it's always best to watch nearly every beer review. Although it's not easy to watch every beer review because if it's an hour a day of your time watching beer reviews, it's that flipping heck. I can't watch him do beer reviews every day. You know. Yeah. I mean, we've all got families. I'm down here doing a beer review. My family's up there. Probably hating me for the fact I'm down the shed. I swear I'm getting melon still. I know I'm getting peach, but Like I say, slightly warmer temperature. This temperature, too cold. Um, and this isn't shed temperature. This is, this is by the back door temperature. <laughs> not, not far off the shed. Uh, freezing by the back door. I don't want to sleep there. Um, but yeah, look at that. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Golden glory. Big thank you to uh, Badger Brewery for bringing it back. At least for me to have a go at it and do a review. I can't remember actually ever doing a review of Golden Glory. It's nice to have the set. There's not many Badger Beers slash Hall and Woodhouse that I've not reviewed. Not many at all. Uh, and I think there's only one that I've had a little bit of a thing with. The, uh, the lager the other week. Tastes all right. Uh, the aroma is... Uh, different shall we say um one of the beers that got me into real ales um you know it's it's a beer that means a lot to raggy's beer reviews it got me into real ales it was a beer that i absolutely love and especially in the summer months you know it's it's a beer of summer for me Not quite the beer to drink in a cold shed, but um, you get where I'm coming from. So, lovely peach, golden, amazing beer. Would I drink it again? Yes. Would I drink it on cask? Oh, man. That would be heavenly. Um, good 4.5 for me out of 5, if scores really matter. As you know, scores don't really matter. It's the fact that I love this beer, and that's where I'm coming. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers, on.